Life's a little crazy right now. We went out to celebrate 100K subscribers last night. Got recognized like eight times and took a bunch of selfies. It's a good feeling when the stuff that people used to say like wasn't possible, like starting to happen now. That's just the stuff I always dreamed of. I'm so grateful, man. I'm not a raging alcoholic. That's not why I have a fireball bottle in my hand. We're doing the drinking during the job interview prank today. I'm gonna fill this up with apple juice, but I forgot to rinse it out. <laughs> it's like fizzing. It looks good enough. Thank you, man. Hello. What's happening with you? Jason, Rodney, nice to meet you. I just want to start off by quick saying, like, as a man, I apologize. I'm a little late. Uh -huh. Like, it's my bad. I got into the liquor last night, but this won't be a pattern. Like, okay. I won't be showing up late. You feel me? Yeah. What made you want to work at Fuller? Well, shit, like, I used to work at Burger King. You okay. see that on my resume? Yeah. My manager there used to work at Chipotle, too and he kind of referred me here. Uh, okay. That was before like we was on bad terms. Uh, he tried to call me out on my drinking problem uh -huh. and like I ain't trying to hear that shit when I'm busting ass at your company and he's in my ear talking about I'm an alcoholic. That's my personal life, yeah. right? Yeah. So I start throwing hands with him, uh -huh. right? On the job, because it's on site with me. If you disrespect me, it's on site. Uh -huh. So that's all I'm saying. But like he, yeah, he used to work here. He referred me here. It's like an all day thing. Like I'm hung over as shit right now. Yeah. And like, this is how like, this is like my remedy. You know what I'm saying? Just drink throughout the day. The hangover goes away. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with it. So like, this don't affect my job performance though. Uh -huh. I'm a functioning alcoholic, right? I'm gonna be back there. I'm gonna be making burritos faster than anyone back there. Okay. Full time, part time. Shit, I'm looking to get as many hours as I can. So full time, you think? Yeah, so I need uh, liquor money, man. All right. And I was also gonna ask you, like, is there a way that I could sort of get in touch with like the corporate office and do some projects there? Cause that's always been my dream, okay. right? To be with the bosses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I got a great, great idea to pitch. You know how like when somebody likes a food, they're like, damn, that food must have crack in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when they really like a food they're like they must put crack in these tacos i was thinking like what if we like legitimately put crack in the burritos you know what i'm saying yeah. like get your customers so they don't have a choice but to come back and buy it uh -huh. or we could like round up a perk 30 and like sprinkle it on the burrito mm -hmm. you feel me yeah all right <clears throat> how about nice you think you pour it nice I feel like you're kind of brushing off my uh, my suggestion there. You think that's a good idea, bad idea? I'm open to criticism too. Okay. Like if you think it's whack, just tell me it's whack. Like uh -huh. I ain't gonna, I ain't finna get all butthurt about it. Uh, no, yeah, no, I'm just sick right now. Oh, you just yeah. sick? I got STD tested mm -hmm. and everything before this, so like you good around me. I ain't okay. finna get you sick or nothing. No, no I just don't want to get you sick. No worries, no worries. Okay. My immune system strong as fuck okay. too. Okay. This kills off the bacteria too. So. Okay. Yeah. And then, are you able to work on ice? <laughs> So, excuse me. What was that? You able to work at night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Night shift's the best shift, man. Shit, graveyard shift. I got some good ass memories at the graveyard shift at Burger King. Nice. It was this bad that. little thing yeah. that I used to work with. And then you Damn, said you have she, it on the system, right? She used to suck the skin off that shit. R O D E Y. -A? R O D N E Y. Damn, I didn't realize this was a fucking spelling bee or some shit, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing. Rodney's a tough name to spell too, shit. I, I failed my fifth grade spelling class. I failed English in fifth grade, so I feel you. How you spell that? There you go again with that spelling bee shit. H-U-D-S-O-N. Corporate number you say looking for Yeah, the court get me up there with the bosses. Like I feel like I have a lot to offer, you know what I'm saying? And nobody wanna give nobody wanna give a young man a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like I came from nothing. I'm from the west side of Des Moines, Iowa. What are the odds that somebody like me from the west side of Des Moines, Iowa makes it to a place like Chipotle? I don't know, man. Not a lot of people make it out. Yeah. And I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So full time night Can you dab me up on that right quick? What I can do right now is get the corporate number for you and give it to you. I'm finna be calling them all day. Do you have any questions for me? Would you be on board with like 
trying to ground up her 30s and stick them in the burritos. Do you think that would be a good idea? I mean, it's always a good idea to ask and you know, see how it goes. We can always try it out. We get the customers literally addicted to our food. Uh -huh. They coming back, right? Yeah. Before you know it, business is booming. You know what I'm saying? Joe Biden, he don't want to do shit about the economy. Uh -huh. Somebody's got to spark that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Why don't we make the change? Like, it's the everyday workers like us that have the power to make the change. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta do something about this. That's why I get so passionate about when I talk about my ideas and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, it's understandable. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Full time night shift right now. Alright, any other questions you have for me? Yeah, do you want to sip at all? I'm okay, I'm on the set now. This shit will get you through the day though. I know it will. I'd be drinking like non-stop it doesn't affect my job performance okay. and that's what people see, don't seem to understand when they hire me and shit they think like just because i drink all the time that i'm gonna slack off on a job they don't know what these fingers are capable of okay. you know what i'm saying yeah i've done some nasty ass shit with these fingers okay. you feel okay. me yeah, yeah. All right, anything else? where did you get your tats done because i'm get, looking to get some too i get them in south america is while. there a story behind these these joints or what uh, I just got my first tattoo and I started liking them, you know? I was thinking of getting like a Bugs Bunny, uh -huh. like right here. Yeah. I feel like it's a great symbol of like how I kind of jump over obstacles, uh -huh. you know? Bugs Bunny hops. Yeah, there's He's a bunny. A He's a always, bunny. He yeah. jumps. Yeah. There's so like story, every time there's an obstacle in my way, I'd be going Bugs Bunny. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No, I understand. This tells you your basic story. It's a diary written on your body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you man. ever consider getting a dick tat though? No, it probably hurts. I was thinking of doing it because it would make me stand out though, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, but it might hurt though. When you get, when you get like shit, like I could put that shit on my resume. If you can handle a dick tat, you think anything gonna phase you at Chipotle? Yeah. You think a mad customer gonna come in and ruin your day? Yeah. Nah, you already been through it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay, man. All right, I'll look at you in the system and I'll give you the number for the corporate, all right? All right, good looks, good looks. Yeah, no problem. I think I've seen you on TikTok. I don't think that guy's coming back with the corporate information. <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing a prank for a live audience today. There was like five people that knew I was making a video, like all just like laughing their asses off behind the manager. So I was trying not to get distracted. All I know is that I was pitching some solid ideas in there. A Perk 30 burrito. <laughs> that dude was the coolest interviewer though. Working hard in the studio, steady on my grind, money on my mind. This shit got me on the Overtime, 24-7, it's a cold of mine. Head up any situation. If you're intelligent, you shout out to Loaf, and you subscribe to Loaf. <laughs>